Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll create custom collection view cell. And here's how the project will look like after this video. We still have a grid of cells in this case, but each of the cell is customized design. We have an image, which is the image of the publisher, and we have the title of the publisher. The title is has a blur view, has as the background view, and each of the cell will have a radius corner ra the radius so that it has a little bit rounded corner. Okay, it looks just as stunning as this. So let's get back to Xcode and we'll get started. Let's go to the main dot storyboard and we'll design a new UI for our cell. So here is the start of here's the prototype cell. The image view is good. We we'll want still want to have this image view. But we also want to have something more, something like a blur view and the title for that, um, for the um, publisher name. So let's have a blur view over here there. So I will type in blur and I will drag it like this. Okay, so it should be like that. And we'll apply some of the constraints, auto layout constraints on this one. And we can do that first by creating over pin button. And then uncheck the constraints to margin. And we can do the left to the left is zero, to the right zero, and to the bottom is zero. Okay, and we want to have the height of 30 points. And this 30 points is, exact, is exactly the height adjustment of that. So we want to make it sure that it's 30 points of the height. And we want to update the frame. And we'll add those four constraints. And that should be good. Okay, looks good, right? So next, you want to make this guy, um, the blur view, to be. Um, we want to configure the blur view to be just light, and it, I think it's by default is already light. Okay, and next we want to drag out some label into this guy. So drag out label, and make it right in the center. Drag it like this. Cool, and then we want to center align this label. Alright, and how about applying some auto layout on this guy? You want to uncheck the constraints in margin and just make it like this. And add the four constraints. Cool. The other thing I want to do is that I want to change the uh, scaling of this label because there may be some publisher that has a very long name like MIT uh, technology review right so what we can do is over the label and it has a pro property called auto shrink this auto shrink you can set it to be minimum font scale and this minimum font scale by default you can do it as 0 0.5 so as it's very small uh, very long text then we can do it scale it down from 1 the scale from 1 to 0 0.5 okay it should be good so this cell is great. Next, we want to create a subclass of UI collection view cell and assign this cell to be a, that class. So let's create that class. It is a file. And we'll subclass a UI collection view cell. And that we'll name it publisher collection view cell. And we'll leave it like that. Okay, so let's go back to main storyboard and assign this publisher cell, a custom class to be a publisher collection view cell, and we'll go over this cell and we will um, connect some of the IB outlets from this cell to this. So we have the publisher collection view cell make sure that it is publisher collection view cell all right so first we want to have an image and oops okay let's do that again so an image let's control drag to this and for this one we will call that publisher image view next we have this blow view and Leave it like that, and we'll call that publisher. Uh, no, it is visual effect view. All right, 
and inside this view we can drag out the label and for this label we'll call that the publisher title label all right that should be good next let's go back to this cell and make it a standard editor and we'll start configuring this cell so first we want to have a property that is the input of this one and this cell it displays the information about a publisher so what we need is a publisher and it is of type publisher right and optional and we want to add a property observer into this publisher and it is a did set observer so whenever this publisher did set then we want to update ui okay and this is a class that we want to write update ui so func update ui so inside the update ui what we want to do is first set the image of the um, of the cell publisher image view dot image to be the publisher dot image all right cool so just like that and then we'll go back into the publishers collection view controller there are an um, inside the cell for item at index path we will need to first cast this cell the DQ re reusable cell as a um, publisher collection view cell and we will have to sell the publisher equals to the publishers dot publisher for item and index path and we'll pass in the index path okay this publisher for item and index path is a method in the publishers class okay publishers over here and we have the cell for item and index path now publisher for item and the index path right there okay all we need to do is call this and if it is in your real project that you want to um, get this publisher or get this cell the data for this cell then you have to write a class for this just like that okay it should be just very simple like using it usually will be an array or an array of dictionaries or something and you just pass in the index path right or index path row or index path sections and now let's run this project to see how it looks like all right so here is our project it looks really nice right okay so those these labels it looks really nice so that's it for this video and i want to give you a, a challenge for this video the challenge this time is first assign the label for this okay you see that the label so i want you to change the this label into the title of the publisher okay the second thing I want to challenge you is that I want you to give this cell, each of the cell, a corner radius, okay? And change the corner radius to make it a little bit small, um, the rounded corner. And I would recommend it to have the 3.0 point of corner radius, right? If you have any question, feel free to post it right down below and I will personally reply to your questions. And if you stuck on the challenge project, you can download the complete project right down below. Have a good time and enjoy. Hey guys, it's Duke. Did you like this tutorial? If you did, you can do two things now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe to my channel right here, which I hope you will, so that I can continue sending you more tutorials on a weekly basis. And second, you can join Developers Academy today, start learning iOS development, and get your first two weeks free by clicking the link on the screen right now. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.